I'll kick off the intro. Welcome to another exciting episode of the official podcast. We just hit our three-year anniversary today, and as one of the only podcasts to have not evolved in three years, we decided to take this to the next level and into the 21st century with webcams. Boys, I got a good feeling about it. This might be the future. This might be the future of the far-off year of 2001. I already don't like it. (laughs) Yeah, this feels awkward. I can't play with my nose. I can't just take my shirt off, swing my dick around, get up and leave when one of you is talking. Yeah, I had to put on clothes. Yeah, Yeah. me too. (sighs) sucks. That's what it's like to be in the big leagues now, nice and professional. We're up there with Rogan, the greats, like the Amazing Atheist podcast as well. We're coming uh, up. So yes. how beneficial is this going to be to us, though? Are we going to get millions of views from this? I like, Sponsors? I like that reference to 2001 as the amazing atheist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this better get some views. So where, so where did is, you go uh, over the reason as to why we're doing this? This we're, we're not really doing it to venture into a new... Yeah, we're not doing it for uh, fun. New how dare you insinuate yeah, that we're no. having fun with it? This is this is because it's our three year anniversary and we wanted to spice it up in the bedroom, <laughs> more or less. So I propose I think it's a great idea. So I propose the yeah. annual traditional pepper parade you guys bitched out. <laughs> I grew a pepper since last year. I grew a pepper. I have mine ready, but I'm not gonna eat it all by myself. No, eat it now. Yeah, no, by yourself. Yeah, do it right on my cam. Yeah, right no. now. Okay, cam, might as well. No, <laughs> well, what do you mean might as well? Why should I be the only one who suffers? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you love suffering. Yeah, you've always loved suffering. Says who? It says your you balls You dip your and balls in kit. Yeah, we have the same <laughs> idea. <laughs> It's a Turkish stereotype. I don't know where you heard that. Not all of us are into <laughs> cock and ball torture. <laughs> or candle wax or genocide. No. This is offensive. Change just the topic. A, just a disproportionately high percentage of you. <laughs> so where where is everyone reporting from? Where where are we calling in, people? I, I am currently I'm from Australia. I'm live from space right now. Oh yeah, Andrew. Uh, have you got a green skein up? Yeah, yeah. I figured I'd spice it up. Plus, like we can't have two hosts that are in Tampa. That's fucking boring. So Charlie can be in Tampa and I'll be in space. It's True. perfect. Well, we don't know what Charlie yeah. is. It's undisclosed. He could have said he's in Russia. That's true. That's that true. Is Call, true. Calling in like uh, Snowden into Joe Rogan's show. Ooh, think about the possibilities now. We could have all kinds of criminals call in, not just John McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> Alleged. Wow. Alleged. All kinds what are of you criminals, doing? huh? <laughs> yeah, what I the fuck? I love John. He, know, he knows I'm just pulling his leg. John's he my, was a great guest. He's my favorite kind of human being to exist where it's just, I have a thousand interesting stories I can tell you. And I you'll love never that know shit. which ones are real. Yeah, that's <laughs> I love that shit. I wish he could talk for hours. I don't think hours. any of them are real. I believe at least like 80%, to be honest. I'd uh, say... I, I bet the... Uh, does the American government even have like a warrant out on him or anything yeah. like that? Did they even know about John McAfee? Well, the fact he's a millionaire and didn't pay his taxes already is going to get the government hounding on his ass. Yeah. So that that enough. But, uh, what what if he's just lying about that and he's just he's he's always paid his tax on time and he's been a good boy? <laughs> so what if he's just a normal <laughs> he's just boring lying dude about it all. making all this shit up? <laughs> <laughs> that would be I awesome. I mean, but think, think about it. Think about it from the other perspective. If you're the one like witnessing John McAfee's carnage, you're a fucking random taxi driver in in what country is he in right now? Did he say Cuba? Cuba. You're a random taxi That's driver what he wants you to believe. In, in Cuba, and this fucking white dude in his sixties gives you like thousands of dollars and then steals your phone and plays music on it. <laughs> it's he's fucking bad shit. I love it, but like the good kind. Yeah, it's he's fun best. to talk to, for sure, even if it is true. So I don't know, even if you believe the stories, I don't see how, like the story allegedly is that some dude killed his dog and, and he killed the guy as mm-hmm. revenge. I don't see how he's the bad guy here, I'll be honest. Well, because well, he, he was on the podcast to talk about that. You know, yeah, he said he the dog thing wasn't yeah. even true, so he had no reason to kill that guy. Well, but to be fair, yeah, no, someone dog poisoned thing, my dog's... So the the true part is that there was a murder. A man did die, he said, and John's dogs did also die. So those parts are true. He just denies the connection because he has to deny the connection. Yeah. 
It was, and there's <laughs> also no proof it was his neighbor. He said, that did "Well, that's it. a really good point." He though. said, "He said it was. He said nice things about the dead man, though." So would <laughs> yeah, I. therefore he couldn't have done it. <laughs> no one, no one ever kills anyone that they like. <laughs> he's he's innocent. <laughs> Done. Case closed. Yeah, I mean, John Wick would say the same thing in court as like that Russian mobster's kid. No, I knew him. He was the best kid. No, I would never kill him. No, my dog just choked. <laughs> my my dog didn't die. That's a lie. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. That's a good He's point. Fun. That's a good point. He would he would only ever say that he didn't do it. So shit, what can you believe from that man? <laughs> no. Bulletproof defense. He said he didn't do it, and <laughs> now I have to believe him. Hey man, he he. Said John, John would be honest. I think he would so. tell us if he actually committed a crime. Uh, yeah, why, are you fair. retarded? Why would he be honest about committing a crime? <laughs> Who would be? <laughs> Clout, Kaya. Yeah. But, Hey, so, he let us. He let us all believe just for a day that you could fuck whales. He knows magic. He he's he aware didn't lead of the you to believe. He made a joke. People <laughs> believed it. That's not leading anyone to believe anything. <laughs> so in an interview, he does say that a lot of the stuff he does say is just for attention because it's good for business to have, you know, the media's attention on you. So obviously, the the outrageous persona. I get why he would like to keep his name in the news, or or on people's tongues, but. I don't know where I stand about murdering people just for that sake. We'll see. We'll see. In my book, you're cool, John, so we'll have him back on, I'm sure, at some point. Did you reach out to him after the episode went live? Not yet, but we can, if you like. Okay. Jackson, you told us before we I started think recording... in the future, that would be great. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, you told us you had some questions. Oh. Yeah, so we want to do that. Um, we used to do this quite a we used to do this quite a lot, right? We used to take questions from the subreddit and mm -hmm. from comments and whatnot, and then we just kind of stopped over the last hundred episodes or so. So I thought it might be a neat idea to bring it back for one special three year anniversary episode, oh. along with these face cams that we can't really we we can't see yeah. each other at the moment, so they're kind of <laughs> useless. So I feel you. Through. I have a question on the face cam because I'm curious for you guys. Where do you look? Are you looking at the camera somewhere off, off in the distance? Like, where are your no. eyes going during this? No, I don't mm. see. So before we started, we talked about how, like, Charlie and I are fascinated by podcasters who never have to piss in the middle of their show. That's superhuman. Mm. Yeah. For, the, for that same mm. reason, I do not know how people can look at a camera while they talk on podcasts. At least. It's, it, like, it's so not personal and yeah. staring at an object. Yeah. Acting as if I'm talking to, yes, that's Andrew I'm talking to. No, it's a fucking piece of shit Logitech. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't do it. It's weird. Yeah, I'm just... It'd be so, easier if we were all in like a group call. We'd look at each other. But yeah, when right. it's isolated like this, it makes it harder for you to know where to look. I have a second monitor, so that's where my webcam is. So I just look at my first one. Yeah, that's Charlie. I'm doing it like <laughs> you. I mean, you and I stream, so it's yeah. not nearly as new. So I'm just looking at my monitor where I'd normally be playing a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> well, I'm paranoid, so I always... Every couple of seconds, I just glance at my recording to make sure that's still rolling. I glance at the chat, and that's pretty much it. I try to avoid looking yeah. at myself in mirrors, too. I have that red dragon layout uh, where I just yeah. punch every mirror I see so I don't have to look at myself. <laughs> <laughs> you hate reflections that as well. must have taken a long time. <gasps> yeah. All right, so I just feel I feel at least like 10 times more uncomfortable whenever there's a camera rolling. <laughs> around me yeah you gotta get used uh, to yeah. it jackson that's part of being famous we're famous now three years we're not fucking famous you're making it sound like it's the paparazzi <laughs> chasing us with cameras this is we're recording ourselves they are. in our bedroom. they're outside my door yeah not that i not that i awkwardly turned on my webcam at 2 a.m in the morning <laughs> they're climbing in my windows <laughs> I can't. It's slightly just, less. Cool. It's so awkward being surveilled so much as I set up my webcam on my monitor <laughs> No, this is self-imposed. We're not famous. Nah. How fast do you guys right, think Jackson. you would yeah, get sick? Maybe once these webcams go out, though, we will be. Mm. I How much what? I, w I wonder. Maybe this is the final straw. Like, after this episode, we start getting millions of listeners. <laughs> no, just watch it. We'll plummet. All the <laughs> this will be the least viewed episode. Yeah, I didn't finish my sentence. Millions of listeners leaving to other podcasts after they see what we look like. <laughs> 
all of the young hot <laughs> BTS fans suddenly they they just oh. wanna fangirl us like oh look at these neck beards oh in their bedrooms <laughs> yeah. oh yeah they do fan cams of us when we smile <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's perfect that's what we wait, what we need mm -hmm. <laughs> so Jackson what questions have you gathered for us oh I didn't actually gather any questions <laughs> I thought it was just a good idea. <laughs> One that perhaps we could discuss in the future. Yeah. No, 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 no. I do have some questions. Don't worry. All right. So uh, this one comes from Jid12345. Yeah, 12345. He asks, how do you think listeners rank y'all of A first through fourth kind of ranking? Last. I don't, I don't well, keep we, up with we tier We all lists. agree that. I, I would say I'm dead last, just objectively. Mm, I, no. I'm not even, like, know. dumping I on think... myself. I'm not even, like, trying to shit on myself. I, I really do believe I am last based on feedback. What feedback? Do you think we would all think we're last? Because I also think I'm last, but mainly because, I, like, the first 150 episodes, I didn't speak as much as you guys, so I feel like most people would have... Have you guys no. higher because they hear you more? I think that's very subjective. That's actually the opposite. I think a lot of people yeah. have very different rankings, which I always see. They're always wildly different. And I think you personally, not a whole lot of people are going to go out of their way to privately message you and say, you're my least favorite. The ones I get, I yeah. usually hate. <laughs> Wait, I really they don't like do what that? You guys I get that do. every so often. <laughs> I, do you? <laughs> yeah actually Where? probably once a week someone messages me and says i hate you on the podcast you're my least favorite i wish you'd stop <laughs> Where? what a hero <laughs> what an asshole where though like uh twitter snapchat Wait, is it the same person no it's different people Mo most of them are joking same but person. Okay, most what of the fuck mo <laughs> most of them are joking but it every so often there's someone who's just actually really adamant it's always, it's always just, I hate you on the show. Stop talking. You should Damn leave. Oh, <laughs> Andrew. That's sad. Again, that's why I say I'm objectively probably last. I don't care, but it's just funny. No, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I think it's different for Maybe everyone. Maybe they just resent you the most because you've got the most to, to love. Aww. You're the most outgoing, Aww. so they've yeah, got exhaust. something to target. Uh, yeah, they, they hate, hate my height. It's actually Charlie on different accounts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> uh, it's, it's weird to think about rankings, though, because it's hard putting your friends on a list, and I don't... Obviously, I don't like doing that. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all arbitrary. The, the show... You know, I think it's pretty good. And I think regardless of who is your favorite or who isn't out there listening, we make a good show. So that's really all that matters. Agreed. We all contribute in some way to the final product. Yeah, exactly. We, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, the show would not be the show without all four of us. So, yeah. But mainly me, because it was my idea. <laughs> hey, I named it. <laughs> I... Had to, I I had the brilliant idea of a podcast. Can you believe that? Yeah, that's true. With two strangers you didn't even know at the time. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I still love bringing this up. Do you remember when we almost called ourselves the Stakeover? Yeah. It's still a great name. God. <laughs> it's, that's so crazy. It feels like that was yesterday. I know. I hate time. What were the our other over. ideas? I, can't, I honestly can't believe it's been three years. What the else official did we Minecraft have? podcast. No, that was a joke afterwards. We we After had we we, the whole point. We wanted to make sure that we everyone knew we were four big manly men. So all of our names were like oh, the yeah. workout room. Oh uh, yeah, steak fist, steak fist, oh. beard fist, beard fist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then eventually we wanted to make the joke that we were going to call it the official Minecraft podcast. And then I said, wait, just call it the mm -hmm. official podcast. And that's why our early episodes, we throw in jokes about Minecraft and shit. Hmm. Yeah. I still think Stakeover was a great name. <laughs> it's a fun name, but I, yeah. I gotta be honest, after three years of Stakeover, I'd want to change it. <laughs> it's not too late for a rebrand. Leave your voices yeah, down is. below. Should we rebrand to the <laughs> Stake Off or whatever <laughs> he said? The Stake Off. That's a good one, too. <laughs> Anything plus Stake is a good podcast name. Medium rare. I I, I really like the official. Uh, well done. The official podcast. I think that's a great. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. well done. What a great name for a podcast. Yeah, that, that sounds cool. cute. I like Heading that. Patting ourselves on the back. Yeah. yeah. What's next, Jackson? 
Uh, Cole to Cole asks, do you guys have any stories you'd like to tell but have never been able to bring them up naturally in conversation? Yeah, I also mm. have stories that I'd like to tell that would be illegal. There's a lot of stuff I'm sure all of us would like oh, to tell. Please. No. <laughs> please, please, Kai, now's, now, now's the time that you have a webcam pointed directly at your face. Oh, yeah, right? Just uh, fucking, I should get a green screen to make a wanted poster or like an arrest photo. So, you know, it's just faster <laughs> when I get arrested at the border in Turkey when I fly in. They don't even have to go through the trouble. I should just bring my own handcuffs too. just make it easy for all of them. No, no, no. Fuck that. Maybe, maybe at some point when I'm like 60 years old and jaded and I don't give a fuck anymore, I'll, I'll be like the Unabomber hiding in a jungle bush and I'll send out letters of stories I wish I could have told back from when I was someone. <laughs> that, that's so poetic. <laughs> what about you so, guys? How about you, Andrew? I feel like, yeah, I feel like Andrew might have a story uh, that he's hidden up his sleeve that he hasn't been able to bring up. Hmm. Good question. I'm trying to think, actually. The only story I have that I kind of wanted to tell lately was uh, th it happened recently when, Charlie, you remember when we went to Best Buy to buy GoPros a week ago? Yeah. I thought that was kind of amusing. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Uh, so Charlie and I went to Best Buy to buy GoPros for this police video that we put out yesterday, actually. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we both were just getting the same thing and some stuff. And we went up to the checkout counter and there was this girl. She was probably, what, 19, 20? Something like that. Yeah. She had like 15 foot long fake eyebrows. Yeah. And uh, you could clearly tell that she wasn't very bright. Um, well, I, I don't oh. know where you're getting that from. Cause, cause she it, was just working. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Not, that's not the right way to describe it. She yeah, was, but she's at Walmart. How, I mean, how do you... How do you she couldn't have been bright as me. <laughs> That's not the right way to describe it. She, oh god, I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, it'll it'll describe in the story. So we just say what you're feeling. In I didn't expect we, that. We both put the GoPros on the counter. <laughs> Does he speak for you, Charlie? I thought she looked intelligent. <laughs> she did her job very well. I, she I just think polite. the way the way that she spoke, she came off as very just kind of airheaded. Well, she sounded bored, okay. not airheaded. That might, that's probably what I yeah. misinterpreted. Yeah. So we put the stuff on the GoPro, uh, we put the GoPros on the counter and she's just looking them over and scanning them. And she just kind of idly while scanning them goes, oh, GoPros, what are you guys going to use that for? And just immediately I said, we're going to the police academy. <laughs> <laughs> and she just has no fucking idea how to react. And she's like, really oh, cute. she she was just completely like, oh, uh. Mm. And then there's this long silence. And that's when she thought you guys were special instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, there's this long silence. And then after that, she just goes, I th was thinking of getting into something like that one day, like uh, forensics. Yeah. <laughs> that was where it ended. I what? went, okay. Cool. This is very awkward and fun. That's really yeah. the only story that's happened recently. If you're listening, Best Buy employee, I didn't think you came off as not bright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I probably misinterpreted her being bored as being stupid, but you gotta admit, <laughs> she, she spoke very slowly. The fucking bimbo you didn't laugh at my she joke. Was dumb as rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I can't really think of stories I haven't told. No, what I about think, you, I Charlie? I kind of just tell them as they come to me. Um, I mean, there's that story I told you guys off the podcast that I guess it might be worth repeating, where I kept going into a dream where I was getting my ass beat in a <laughs> roller coaster line. I don't remember that <laughs> at was all. A, it was like a month ago. Sometimes I'll have these dreams where I'll like. If I'm in danger, I'll just wake up from it, but then I'll go back in and hope that the danger is passed in my dream. So I jack back into the same dream. Mm. So I was at like this roller coaster line and there was like this trench coat wearing school shooter looking guy and I knew he was up to no good. So I wanted to be the hero that I always dreamed I'd be. So in my dream, <laughs> I charged him, but he shot me. And I knew I was going to bleed out, so I woke up. And then I went back in and time had reset, so I was in the line again. So I kept charging him, but he kept beating my ass. Until eventually I jacked back in and just ran away. Let the dream continue. I find those kind of dreams to be the most 
interesting dreams, how I can keep going back in and changing my own scenario without trying. I love that kind of shit. Like that Tom Cruise movie. Mm-hmm. Edge, I repeat. <laughs> Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Whatever. I think I, we said... We, we're talking about the same movie. They just had two titles. They had three titles. They changed the title. Live, Die, Repeat, Edge of Tomorrow, and like Diamonds Are Forever. I don't remember the other one, but it was some other goofy fucking name. Great movie. Edge of Tomorrow. It was a good mm-hmm. movie. No, Great it's movie. fantastic. I love that movie. Well, how about you, Jackson? Um. Yeah, for for me, I, I, this is this is one that I've been trying to bring up for 156 episodes, but I've never really found the way in because it involves. I guess I'll just tell it. So, uh, I went down to the bottom of Australia. This was like last year to a to a wedding, and the person getting married was marrying into an enormous like Jewish family, like this very uh, well off Jewish family. So we went to their estate for the like the dinner before the wedding kind of thing, and the person who was marrying into the family, the f- the friend of ours, like the friend of our fa- our family, they they wanted us to make a really good impression on them, obviously. So they were just saying like, "Be super safe. Don't just follow the, the Jewish traditions, <laughs> etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And I, you know me, I'm a super anxious, nervous person. So when I was in there, I just started laying into the alcohol as soon as possible. Um, oh boy, which in Where hindsight is this going? was a really bad idea. Yeah. So, started going on and on so about the Zionists. Did, is that where this is going? No, no, probably worse. Uh, <laughs> so they, they, they had an open bar. What do you expect? So I, I got Not really drunk and then I got into this kind of... I, I got into this artis- artistic debate about uh, literature, about how authors shouldn't be kind of like held up by their work or whatever like even really bad people can make good pieces of work or whatever oh, and i don't know why <laughs> yep i don't know why but i brought up hitler <laughs> in my drunken state i brought up how hitler uh was a skilled author <laughs> and as soon as the words hitler wrote a book came out of my mouth i kind of just <laughs> I just walked off. I just, my my girlfriend looked at me like shocked. I I don't think, I don't, I don't think the Jewish people, the family heard me. Like I was only in a conversation with like three or four people. Uh, I don't think they heard me. So I think I was safe. They did, they didn't. They didn't look shocked or anything. Hitler wrote a book. So I kind of just walked off, and that that was. That was the time I brought up Hitler at a Jewish family event. Oh, man. Jackson, that should be so, the title of your autobiography. Hitler wrote a book. That's such a good way to <laughs> summarize that whole story. Oh, it was the worst <laughs> moment of my life. It was... I just... Were you... It hurt deep inside. Were you aware and embarrassed in the moment? Did you even notice what you had said? Oh, yeah. yeah no, no, I wasn't... I wasn't that drunk. I was just at the... the, the you weren't that I guess the level of... <laughs> so, <laughs> well, this is not a blackout drunk rant, just misunderstanding. You were in control of your thoughts. <laughs> you had a great my, idea. My point, my point was, like, awful people can obviously still kind of make culturally significant... Yeah. I, I, books, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so I use that as a really poor example... You did. Not I, the crowd. I don't know, I guess maybe... <laughs> you picked the wrong book I, 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 and the maybe, wrong crowd. <laughs> maybe Hitler was just subconsciously on my mind. Of I course. <laughs> when is he Going not? to the Jewish wedding, all I could think of was Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weirdo. <laughs> oh, we wrote a nice book. It was probably like... I was probably thinking for like the three hours before that point, don't... Like, don't talk about Hitler. Don't think about Hitler. Well, the weird part <laughs> so is that just, you didn't... I couldn't hold it in. Yeah, but you made the point that not only is he an author, which is true, but he's actually a good author whose writing is pretty good. I think that's the awkward part, probably. Yeah. Uh, there is no way you could have said that without it sounding like you're endorsing Hitler. At a Jewish wedding. Well, I think, <laughs> I, I think I'm think i playing it up right. 
I think I'm playing it up right now. Like, it probably wasn't as bad as it seemed in the moment. It was just the fact that I said Hitler at all <laughs> is kind of where where I I think I went wrong. Agreed. And I think anyone would think in that situation. That's where I kind of failed. Uh, but yeah, that's my story that I've been wanting to tell for 150 episodes. Andrew, you have to have another story for us right now. Oh, you know, I, watch, watches. I, watches. I have a great story about watches and sunglasses and men's fashion and all sorts of other accessories. It's a story of a holiday, a very special American holiday called Black Friday. And so that's mm. what brings Movement Watch's biggest sale of the year. For a limited time only, every single thing at MVMT.com is on sale. That's hundreds of premium watches, blue light glasses, sunnies, and jewelry styles with a fresh, fat new discount just in time for the holidays. I recommend Movement Watches because they are designed in-house and are super sleek, clean, and won't break your bank. Whenever you go out to buy, like, sports watches, you ever notice how they just have way too much garbage on them and you don't even want to use them and they look like trash? Mm -hmm. That's why you want to get Movement Sport Watches, because you can look at them and go, oh my god, it does sport things and it doesn't look like shit. That's amazing. Movement Watches are an affordable option to other way overpriced designs. They have a clean design, minimal, and high quality features. Movement has sold almost 2 million watches in over 160 countries. Shop their biggest sale of the year right now at MVMT.com and use code HOLIDAY19 at checkout. Get free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT.com. Sorry, MVMT.com code HOLIDAY19 mvmt.com to join the movement if you are a man get something that looks nice if you're a woman get something for a man that looks nice or for yourself i won't judge they got yeah. nice watches for everybody you gotta get some gifts christmas is coming yay yeah watches always look nice it's the year 20 fucking 19 we have digital cameras and fucking digital time pieces in our pocket and yet a watch always looks nice Never mm -hmm. goes out of style. Does. Next question, Jackson. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> team. What? Team Sherbin. Yeah, what are you laughing at? Just. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm sorry, but just. It was a great story, Jackson. <laughs> oh. Kaya thought of Hitler again and went, ah, oh, memories. I just, when you said question, I, I figured like Jackson's gonna start talking about the Jewish question, which, whatever. Just <laughs> next one. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, Jackson's next question comes from itself, and what should we do about the Jewish menace? <laughs> This isn't how I wanted to end on the episode 156. We gotta, we gotta get Jackson drunk again. He's gonna be here like, guys, don't you like notice that there's just too many Jews in the upper government positions? Uh, like, <laughs> I want Jackson ten shots deep and goose stepping around my bedroom. I'm so I love Jewish people. They're very kind and generous. Oh, yeah. And Dude, it was a great part. We're, we're getting mean today. Be I called an innocent Best Buy clerk stupid. You called out Hitler for his book and dumped <laughs> on the Jews. Later in the episode, Charlie and Kaya are going to discuss something mean. It's going to happen. Just pay yeah, attention. Yeah, you guys have to do something controversial <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, Team Sherbin asks, who was the worst guest behind the scenes? Oh, boy. I mean, we, we've been pretty open about that. I think we can all agree, David Cross. Yeah, there wasn't even a behind the scenes. He was we on called him and he hung up, and that was yeah. it. That was all on the scene, and he was a cunt. Yeah, that was on the scene. Behind the scene, I I know who my pick is, but I don't want to say it. Yeah, that's not. It was the first. I think letter. David Cross is the only one we can. Yeah, I think yeah. he's the only one that we can feel comfortable that yeah. everyone or, in agreement can say was yeah. a huge douche. The only because he's so much better than. Let us. me let me put it this way: there are people who have been on this show who not all of us have been fond of, but we're not about to fucking drag any of them through the mud. That's kind of. I, I just want much. to see if I agree with you, Andrew. Put his name in our chat in the private one. I will. I uh, just want to see if I can like nod and. Yeah, I don't remember that guy to be honest, so I can't. I, I just say really way. thought I just thought he was very douchey and full of himself. 
Mm. Yeah, I see why. Yeah, that's who I was thinking as yeah. well. Our chat is being filled with Hitler memes. Thanks, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, tomorrow is going to be fucking first on America first or something. <laughs> A guest. <laughs> Oh, well, well, let's dispel this Jackson. rumor. Someone someone in the chat thought that it might be Davy Force. I'll dispel that rumor. Davy Force was a pleasure, and he was a very nice man to talk to. Oh, well, Davy Force was my pick. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to sell you the good name of Davy Force. Anyway, Jackson. That was the episode that we only did for 30 minutes, correct? Yeah, we were going to try a shorter format. He yeah. We were still no, we finding weren't. our he footing. Was he was recording on his yeah, iPad. Yeah, it just it failed. That was the problem. It was it was a combination was of a lot of things, but overall the episode was better cut down to 30 minutes. Yeah, he was recording on his iPad mm -hmm. and our audio was being echoed wildly. That, well, that was yeah. a technical bad no, thing, was, not that he was bad as a person. He was recording on an entirely new technology, apparently. Oh, yeah. Something he created in his lab. <clears throat> I forgot about that. All right, what's next? All right. Uh, Animus Random asks, what have been the downsides to being self-employed, if any? Oh, there's plenty of downsides. It's I don't know if Notch said this in a tweet or if this was on our show, but he mentioned how when you're self-employed, the problem is that most of the time you don't... You, you're going to have a difficult time finding people to hang out with. So when it's mm -hmm. like 2 a.m. Yeah. here in Germany, mm -hmm. so everyone's sleeping, who the fuck am I going to call? All of my American friends that I chat with, they're still at work due to the time difference. So there are a lot of times where I'm just by myself and bored and anyone I could call or play games with or hang out with is busy with work or something else. Having, a, you know, a very traditional job. Mm -hmm. So that's, I think, the biggest, at least social downside. Yeah. What was the, Jackson, what was the exact question again? Just so I'm sure. What's what's the downside to being self-employed that, that you've okay. discovered? Yeah, Kaya hit a really big one. I have the same similar problem where it's like during the day when you're free, you just kind of want to hang out with your friends and do fun stuff, but they're all at work or mm -hmm. still in school or whatever. You go, okay, fuck. So then you do all your stuff, and then later that night when you're in the productive zone or you're streaming or what the fuck ever, you know, you're, you're doing more work stuff, technically. And then when you're done and it's one in the morning, hey, guys, you want to play a video game? Oh, everyone's asleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Damn. the don't. I, uh, also, keep in mind that when people call this self-employment, it's not really. You're still beholden to your fans, obviously, to whoever is watching and paying your paycheck to your sponsors and all that. So it's not. That worry is still there. It's not like we have fuck you money and we have no bosses or anything like that. We still have business partners, each other. We still have fans who are technically our bosses, I would say. It's not mm -hmm. that different, mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Different yeah. work times is really it. The downside, I guess, I mean, for us specifically would be things like recording times for Jackson, who has to be up at, what is it now, 3 a.m. for you? 2 a.m.? Yeah, 3 a.m. Like right that. now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you still have to... Oh, that's just the nature of what we're doing uh -huh. at this point. I mean, self-employed still has the word employed. Like, a lot, of, a lot of people think that it's all just goofing around and dicking off. And while there is a good element of that, yeah, we have a lot of fun with the stuff we do. Sometimes, you know, you got to make sure the end product is worth it. Like, we, uh, Charlie and I just recently did the police simulator that we put videos up on, and that was a lot of fun to do. But afterwards, I got to watch what, like five hours of footage or however long it was and comb and find the best stuff and still put together something to make it worthwhile, you know? Even Yeah, well, Andrew, it beats working at Walmart, doesn't it? Oh, of it? course it does. Oh, yeah. But it, mean... it's, it is a downside where sometimes the things you do for fun become also what you have to do as a job. So yeah, if I didn't want to make that video, I still kind of have to. Now you're out of one fun hobby, probably. If it's something you started as doing for fun and then made funny uh, money with. But other than that, I don't think any of us will claim that this is as difficult as a regular job standing at a conveyor no, belt with no. some cunt barking at you six hours a day, nine hours, eight hours. Different level, different different types of difficulty in both jobs, obviously. But yeah, it's it's not like uh, this is harder than those kinds of jobs, no. No. I mean, imagine like... You have to edit um, footage from a GoPro, but then you could also be the clerk selling that GoPro, getting called stupid on the internet yeah. by some guy. I would I would never <laughs> trade what I'm doing for anything else, but at the same time, 
there's the same downsides as making your hobby a job. It's sometimes you got to do the job, not just have fun with the hobby. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I like I like that point, though, that of barely seeing friends, because that's something I've noticed. I haven't seen a friend in. Well, I've I've seen some friends, but I haven't been out and about in friend situations for like two years, possibly because I keep bringing up Hitler, uh, <laughs> but most likely because of <laughs> most likely because of the time frame that we uh, work at. It just doesn't kind of. Yeah, I don't get that. Well. I don't I don't really know. You have like one day a week for a recording. There's plenty of time to like. Yeah, but uh, it's, that's that's the day that I want to go out. <laughs> It's the weekend. Uh, so you what? You go out at three a.m. No, but I have to be home here at three a.m. Oh, I'm also on the Sunshine Coast, which is very, which is very far away from hotspots. Mm. Well, maybe it's just me not being a good friend, Charlie. Maybe yeah, I don't I, see I guess friends I, enough. I, I, I don't know. I'm very different than on both, all of your perspectives. I've never had a problem hanging out with friends as a result of doing any of this. Fine, there's always plenty of time for it. The ones that work, they work until like 6 p.m. or something, which is when I would want to be around people. It's not like I'm trying to get together for a morning golf game or something boring like that. If I'm hanging out with friends, it's around the evening when people get off work. So I've never really found it a problem to hang out with friends or see people. Yeah, but they still have Possibly. lives is what I'm saying. Most yeah, of it's... the time they still they have kids, they have husbands, wives that they just have to deal with. They, have to, they just have to go home. It's not and like... And that's not a problem of self-employment and time frame. Well, no, it's it also is for me. I'm saying that don't... once they get off, it's not like I can call them and now they have to deal with me. I can't demand that most of the time. Not most of the time, maybe, yeah, but you if you were sometimes. Employed traditionally, it's, yeah. it's also a problem with scheduling, Charlie. Like, I have friends where I like to stay over their house for the night because I go over and we hang out all night and all that shit. If I have the podcast the next day, I got to go, oh, fuck, guys, I know we were going to do this in the morning, but I got to stay here and record the podcast. Or, oh, I got to home, go home early. It's like, it's not a big problem to have. I don't think any of us are whining or bitching or saying, oh, it's so hard and terrible, but sometimes it, you know, being self-employed gets in the way of what you want it's to do because you have different schedules you know it's also not the fact that you know the time they get off is before that you yourself if you don't have something else to do like if you were at work just like them you have other things to worry about you're at work but for us yeah sometimes you know sometimes it is 2 p.m in the afternoon i feel like watching a movie but there's literally no one i can go with that's what yeah. I mean. It's mm. it's a very first world problem, if that's what you mean. Ah, duh. That's the part <clears> of being a content creator, but that's unfortunately the downside. I Even when you're filthy rich like Notch. I think a good summation of this argument is it gets lonely because everyone else has to go to work or school during the day or have their own obligations, whereas we just sit at home. To school? Who are you hanging out with? <laughs> 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 you keep saying school. Yeah, to college. <laughs> I mean, when I say school, I mean college. But, um, what else you got, Jackson? I, yeah, what else? Um, Better Squidward asks, did you guys expect to get this far? Nah. I expected us to be above Rogan by now, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it would have been nice to see this go even further, but I guess this is where we... Where we say where our goodbyes. Reached. Yeah, we're cancelling <laughs> the show now. I, yeah. I expected some... Making Andrew even lonelier. <laughs> no. <laughs> I expected some level of success, but maybe not this much, but I kind of felt that some level was guaranteed, to be honest. Just by nature. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, at the end of the uh, day, we... we I, I, always, I always had faith in us from the very get-go. It's not even guaranteed. that. At the end of the day, we had a show with Charlie on it that was literally going to bring people on no matter how bad it was. So... I don't know. Could have bombed. Could have gone either way. Small chance, but it still could have yeah. bombed. It's... Yeah, I don't know why people. Oh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not saying it could have. It would have lasted, but it definitely would have. Like we, we had a foot in the door no matter what. When we started, yeah. we had a fucking in no matter how bad the show was in the beginning. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I expected us to be successful because I think all four of us, especially after getting to know you two, Kaya and Jackson, over the length of the show, I think all four of us are entertaining and funny people. So I definitely was very confident we'd be successful or get somewhere. But to where we are now. It's probably a little more than I expected, to be honest, which is good. Mm -hmm. Where are we now? We're pretty fucking popular, actually. We're on the fucking Spotify charts. That's kind of insane in perspective. 
Mm-hmm. I like your positivity. <laughs> what did you uh, expect? To go, to, go, to go along with that, Barker for Life asks, was there ever a time when one of you felt like ending the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> After oh, every yeah. episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Up until I get paid. <laughs> I see the PayPal transaction and then uh, message all of you like, oh, never mind, that was just a joke. <laughs> I'm still in. <laughs> He comes back from the ledge. <laughs> uh, no. There's been times where I've wanted to take a break or just kind of haven't felt like doing an episode, but never ending it, no. How about mm-hmm. you? Yeah, Charlie, you've I been kind of quiet. How about you? Me? Charlie. Oh, I, I'm always along for the ride. Uh, I was never going to end it or anything. There's never been a point where I was like, yeah, time to just call it quits. I think it's fun. It's yeah. I mean, and to be fair, it's literally... An hour, two hours a week, just hanging out with friends. So I, it's not like it's super stressful or a mm-hmm. super big inconvenience or anything. Mm-hmm. For you, it's three a.m. for me. Yeah, it's, well, it's fine. <laughs> it's not for me though. <laughs> Again, it's not an inconvenience. Yeah, it's, it's totally fine for me. I can speak on your behalf. <laughs> <laughs> you know what might uh, since. Uh, Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah. might actually be a good question, guys? Because I, I have a real good question. When was the last time you jacked off? Mm, to hentai, you mean? Oh, yes, yeah, specifically to hentai. Because if, if, uh, if, if you don't have a good Not answer to that enough. question, do I have a website to recommend to you? That's uh, Nutaku. Mm-hmm. Nutaku is a big hentai game repository. Yes, actual factual anime titties. All for you to look at. They have over 400 games, 40 million plus users, and over 100 million visits every month to that website where you can go and play the number one in adult gaming. They have lots of great new titles. Me too. There's a lot yeah. of tits on this website. Why do, you, why do you think my bottom half is out of frame? This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the reflection of tits and shit in Kaya's <laughs> eyes in the video. <laughs> oh, man. If you want to see some of the most up-and-coming, hot, great new adult gaming titles, such as Fap CEO and Booty mm. Booty Calls, which mm. that just feels fun to say. Let me get, let me get one more. Vixen Wars. Man, they have great names. You can check them out over at New Taku. High quality games you won't find in the App Store. They are exclusive to New Taku. Over 150 free to play games. Free to play hentai games. I love this country because I can say that without a shred of irony or shame. Check out New Taku. If you if you're feeling like you want to play something or play with yourself while playing something. Go ahead and check out Nutaku. N-U-T-A-K-U. The App Store part is true, by the way. Obviously, uh, Apple, the Apple Store, and Google Play don't allow triple X shit, like explicitly pornographic stuff. So if you want the spicy shit, you gotta go to Nutaku. Yeah, man. Gotta go straight to the sauce, baby. <laughs> I'm glad you said sauce, because apparently there is an, a sponsor on there for hentai hot sauce. And the tagline is "fuck mm. me, it's hot." <laughs> I kind of, I kind of like that a lot. It's a good tagline. <laughs> it's a great tagline. That works, yeah. Uh, Newtaku.net. There is literally a picture of one of the Overwatch characters with a jizz mustache on the front page. How could you not want to go? <laughs> Ooh, <the> new <laughs> Mister Monopoly man. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, you'd like this one. They have a game I've called got- Crush Crush Moist. Sounds like my kind of game, baby. It does. Check out Nutaku. It's it's our dream sponsor, let's be honest. Yeah, that's a great sponsor. It is. Thank you, Nutaku. Mm-hmm. I'm realizing I picked a lot of a lot of really depressing questions oh. like when do you guys when do you guys want to quit? <laughs> who who do you hate the most on the podcast? <laughs> cool <laughs> questions, Jackson. How much longer do you think this will last? Hey, no, this no, is wait, what the let's, fans let's want. Take, yeah, let's take a step back. Is this what the fans want to know? Jesus. You guys are gunning for blood. Did you pick these from the thread on Reddit? Maybe I posted it to the yeah, maybe I posted it to the wrong subreddit mm. or something. Let's go by the most. I went straight to roast me. 
Can't you go by the most upvoted? No, it's uh, easier. I, I, yeah, no, I, I, I grabbed, I grabbed all these. Don't worry, I've got some others. Good. Um, okay. Uh, Exotic Kazuma asks, have any p- more porn stars been asked to join the show, male or female? And uh, if not, who would you want on? Mm. I reached out to one recently because we talked about it when we were talking about a shit girl. I reached out to Lexi Bell to no response, so we're 0 for 5. <laughs> oh, God. Have we seriously gotten no response from five porn stars? Why do these porn stars think they're better than no, us? They get, they- Just because they could take a cock. We've got responses from the other four. <laughs> They've just been uh, no's, either standing us up or ghosting. Yeah. Ah. Or very non committal, telling us they can only do 20 minutes. Yeah. Dude, porn stars on Twitter have so many followers. Like, even the smaller ones get. They're insanely popular. Who follows porn, like Twitter porn stars? I have no idea. Keeping up with updates, it's like following a friend, Jackson, but closer. <laughs> yeah, you've seen their genitals. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sure yeah, it's an anonymous account. I don't think anyone uses their real name to follow porn stars and likes their shit tweets Ooh. or uh, gaping asshole no. tweets. What? Not That's true. Not even remotely. Really? Not true at all. Yeah, I look at some of the comments sometimes. There's like a, when there's... For example, Lexi Bell posted one that said "Good morning," and it was her taking off her shirt. All the comments were from these really goofy-looking guys with names that were so generic I couldn't believe it. But I went to their profiles and real, and they were all just saying like "Good morning, Lexi. I'm now hard. Thank you for making me hard, beautiful." Stuff like that. It's people do that for sure. Oh my god! Why doesn't anyone say that about us? Well, we don't. We <laughs> no don't. one tells. We don't get that kind of fan interaction. Thankfully, that's not true. Jackson used to get all kinds of women groupies coming after him, saying cool things about him. Cool things about him? <laughs> yeah, you look good in sunglasses. You're totally radical, dude. No, that's <laughs> different. That's different. He's talking about explicit, like, porn comments, porny, horny comment comments, not just, no, I think I'm, you're handsome. I'm not even saying that. I'm not, no. I'm saying, like, we make them feel good, you know? I, like... What? These guys are leaving comments on these porn star Twitters saying, you made me feel good. It would not be nice to have that kind of reaction to someone. Do you want to give people oh, boners, I, Jackson? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess it's just a deep inclination of wanting to play, like please people. <laughs> Pleasure men through the internet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what uh, we're looking for. God, Charlie, you were not wrong about this porn star stuff. I'm checking one of Lexi Bell's tweets where she shows her titties, and one person commented eight just, different times going, yeah. good morning, thank you so much for brightening my day. I, I was actually doing the same thing. You can see it on the <laughs> webcam. I got my phone out to go to tweet and read some. <laughs> some of them are really funny. <laughs> some of them are really sad, too, though. Like, Lexi, oh. please, I just want you. Lexi, please. Jesus. I know. Well, I don't want that. Well, one of, yeah, one of, one of her top comments says beautiful with heart emojis, and it's sent by Darth Maul. So. <laughs> <laughs> the Darth Maul? Yeah, the Darth Maul. Those she knows her audience. Can, dude, those women need security. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm sure they would have big muscular men guarding them at any any situation, right? I doubt it. Not in daily life. They, they, they would, wouldn't have bodyguards. They would have to, surely. Sure, no, I doubt it. During events, I'm sure if they ever do any public appearances, but other than that, I doubt it. Going that's to the grocery an, store something... and shit? Nah. That's something I've been thinking about real hard. What if you have a porn actress that you like watch and like? Like, let's take Lexi Bell because we brought her up. And you see her at the grocery store or something. Is it weird to go up and say, like, I love your work. It's so great. You're the best. The yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Do you go? Because like with other celebrities, you can go up to them and be like, hey, I really liked you in this movie. But going exactly. up to a porn star, I really liked it when your asshole was gaping. Yeah. It's probably the way different. you took that dick was I'm just sure. so hot. It's like, what do you how do you say? What do you say? Good work. I like your work. <laughs> yeah. But isn't that like, creepy? Hey, isn't isn't that kind of off putting? Yeah. I drained my nuts to you <laughs> last night. Thank you, <laughs> <my> lady. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Because, like, think about there, it. There's are definitely they, are people who would do it that. By now? Oh, for sure. There's definitely people that would do it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess they would be used to it. I mean, if 
Like, think of the that moderator who had a meltdown when his favorite cam girl turned out to be married. And that's yeah. just a gamer. Oh, that's such a classic. They're just a gamer. That, that guy, if he saw her in real life, he would propose. Let alone talk to her. I, they must well, expect that. Well, if he was smart, that. yeah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, well, that's, it's still a little I, different, though. Because it's not like she was doing full-on porn. So if he's saying, I like your streams, it's not overly creepy. But if you're doing outright porn... Someone right, coming no. up to you saying, I, "I." Now imagine if she did porn. That guy would lose it. Oh yeah. He would just have such oh, a hard on God. just approaching her. He would impale her on the spot. No, I, that, well, he would be frenzied. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I just, it's just. How do you even say that stuff though? Do you say, "Hey, I'm a fan of your work"? Are you allowed to get into detail? Do they? I, 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 it's like okay, okay. Take for I example, Robert they don't Downey want to Jr. Hear details about how you jerked off your yeah, little yeah, bit. Exa- well, that's that's what I find funny. Take <laughs> take Robert Downey Jr. He's walking down the street. He's got his sunglasses on and he's drinking a coffee. I'm guaranteeing one of the first things people would say is, "Oh, I love you, Iron Man. I loved you as <laughs> Iron Man. Oh, you were so good in Endgame. What do you what do you say to Lexi Bell? Oh, I loved you in Big Dicks Four. <laughs> I love the way that you had him in your ass was just sublime. It's like." How do you- I know? I noticed you're buying grapefruit, Lexi. I fucked it when I was thinking of you last night. Uh, you just go straight. You just go straight to the source. Just, just jump right into it with Lexi. Porn stars love that. Yeah, show up a, show her a clip of it. Jackson, the porn star <laughs> whisperer over here. <laughs> they love it. Why would they be doing porn then? It's not for the money. They like making people <laughs> oh, they like me. Yeah. <laughs> they like telling stories. They're like party clowns, children's party clowns. They just do it for the smile. <laughs> uh, uh, she's riding some guy's dick and she's just thinking, this is making some lucky man out there real happy. No, I don't mm-hmm. want to get paid for this one. I did it for the love. <laughs> they hand her a paycheck. She says, no, thanks. Just put it back in the studio. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> donate it to, yeah, donate it to, to, to some insult charity. <laughs> can you, can you imagine cum. if fucking John Hopkins Hospital gets a new children ring, wing and it's paid entirely by dick sucking money? That'd be amazing. <laughs> well, they're doing charity. Paid entirely the, through browsers. Porn, Pornhub was planting trees and shit. They do that. So indirectly, mm. I guess, That's like true. Lexi Bell and such, they are helping charity. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Thank you, porn stars of America. You are probably the most altruistic More people to ever live. They're helping me. <laughs> and that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your contribution. Yeah. Please stop ignoring us. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, to answer you. the she question... Hasn't, she hasn't uh, responded yet. If, she, yeah. if she comes on... You'll see me... You'll s- You'll see me in your Twitter comments later. Yeah, to answer the question. Under the handle Darth Maul. We're always turned down. I'll be Jar Jar. I'll be Jar Jar Binks. We can Star Wars tag teamer. I'll be George Lucas. <laughs> me some on those titties. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should do that. That'd be great. We go to Porn Stars Twitters and just as like a group of characters on Twitter, just start messaging them. Yeah, I'm sure they'd like that. That's what they signed up for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll convince them. Uh, I feel like, oh my god, you guys remember when Mia Khalifa was it? One of them called into a radio show and she got so fucking offended that she was asked about her porn career. Who was yeah, that? that was she got super weird. pissed off. Who was that? It was Mia Khalifa because so what? She what what to, you're, you're saying yeah. fans? You're saying fans can't shouldn't ask or directly comment on the porn to the porn stars in public, but she she's. Uh, like wrong for getting upset that she was asked about no more she's wrong well, why, so it's why did she yeah why did she go on the show what was I why did they bring her clip, on if you don't mind Kaya it, it was yeah. a hockey thing it was like a, a sports podcast and Mia Khalifa's big into sports so she was coming on as like a sports correspondent and the host was super respectful to her he was reading her like the background and her qualifications you know, this lady, she knows her sports inside and out. She's uh, Mia Khalifa, former adult film superstar. And the first thing she said when she came on was how offended she was that she'd even bring up the adult industry. And now she only yeah. worked in it for like two months. It's literally all she's known for. Who gives a shit about her opinion on golf? Who gives a fuck? You're not a sport. What? You're a, you're a porn star. What the fuck? It's well, like that's a, what she's trying to change. Yeah, though. that's yeah, what she's too trying bad. to change. Right, so you can be nice about it, or you can have a meltdown and draw more attention to it. It's like if I went on somebody else's show and they said, so Kai, you have a podcast. What? Oh, 
I don't talk about that. What the fuck? I'm, and then I walk out of the You're not, out, out you're of not the deeply show. ashamed of it, though. Are you? Are you ashamed of being on that show? Is she? That's the point, right? Well, then, yeah, I mean, if you're is. ashamed of it, yeah, yeah, she probably is. I would say she is. Yeah, well, well, at this point, I'd say she is too, but that's not that radio host's uh, fault or problem. Yeah, they, maybe, there should have been like a level of communication, like, hey, please don't bring up the adult stuff. Yeah, I agree with you that. You can't expect someone to not bring up your most popular attribute. Let me tell them otherwise. Uh, Childish Gamo asks, "What would be a job you'd like to try out? What is your dream job?" Hmm. <laughs> it's anything that helps animals, really. Whoever is whoever is job it is to go around shooting poachers. Can I be that guy? Oh. <laughs> like the, the counter like poacher terrorism unit. Yeah, like That's those cocksuckers one. who like uh, get like steal the horns from rhinos and shit. Like I want to be the guy sitting in the bushes waiting for them, then just shooting them in the back of the head, and then taking yes. trophy photos as I piss on them, as I put my dick in their dead mouths. I want to be that guy. That's my dream job. That is such an altruistic goal, go, Kaya. That is a go, great go, fucking profession. Take their phones, go through their contacts, like message their moms with a photo of me just with their dead sons. Like, hey, here's his son. He was trying to fucking abuse an animal. Now well, he's dead, you cunt. Do? Well, Let's yeah, teach her a lesson. Like, if, you're, if you have another kid, <laughs> make sure he doesn't turn out to be an asshole. That sort of a thing. <laughs> yeah, make sure he doesn't turn out to be a sociopath like Kaya. <laughs> No, He's directly him. targeting innocent people. Innocent yeah, people. I'm, I was on board with killing the poachers, but the second you bring the mom in, I, I'll probably lose my support of your your uh, profession no, fuck there. Him. Dude, fuck them. It's like if you, it, dude, they're not innocent. They're fucking monsters. They're little cunts. It's like if you took a kitten, just broke its leg off, and then just kicked it to the <laughs> curb. That's what they're basically doing. Those aren't good people. Fuck them. Fuck their families. Yeah, no. Fuck their moms who raised them that way. Fuck them all. That's my dream job. How about you guys? I uh, I'd well, say I was going to say conservation. I was going to take it in a more gentle uh, slope, but I, I, you've convinced me. <laughs> yeah, let's all fuck. I like you. I like your avenue. <laughs> let's, let's be like inglorious bastards, but instead of Nazis, we hunt poachers. <laughs> Bring me ten poacher scalps. Let's go. <laughs> what about you, Andrew? Charlie, what were you going to say? Oh, I was totally okay. on board with the anti-poacher unit. I think that is a great profession that needs more hands on deck. Yeah. Except I wouldn't do the Facebook photos with my cock and mouths and stuff. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you don't have to. You can be uh, like behind the scenes guy. Yeah, I'll be your cameraman, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Editing them. <laughs> Responsible for social media. <laughs> I'll make your montages. <laughs> ISIS montages. <laughs> we put them in orange jumpsuits and shit. Oh man, fuck that sounds so fun. What's yours, Andrew? Uh, I mean that that poaching thing is hard to fucking beat. I don't know if it's my dream job, but I've always wanted to try directing a movie. I've oh, I've always that's... wanted to oh. just hop on a set and just be the guy who goes, "Okay, here's how we're doing the scene. Make it look like this. We're going to shoot it like that." Like I I think that'd be a lot of fun just to make something like that. Have a whole team. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be fantastic, having that kind of creative outlet. And that was that sparked what I was going to say, uh, which was just creating a universe, like like uh, like being a George Lucas or some kind of visionary that creates something from nothing, and then having it last 40 years or so, and filling young boys' dreams with happiness like, like George did for me. Thanks, George. That's what I Thanks, George. Yeah, I... Uh, I've always wanted to try directing. I think it'd be fun. Make a universe okay. be a be a dude. I don't know. It's not. There's not a lot to talk about <laughs> on it. All right. No, I think that's I mean, it. the job speaks for itself. That's great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What else you got, Jackson? What's the next question. Um. Hmm. Oh, do you guys want to hit the the gaming demographic? We're coming to the end of the year, so this is a pretty. Uh, you know, correct time to do this. Predictions for the Game Awards, the Death Whale 82 wins. asks. Who do Death you think Stranding is going to win? Is gonna sweep. When is it? Do you think it's even nominated? It is. It is. The uh, nominees is are it? out. The 12th, December 12th. Uh, mm. 
Yeah, yeah I don't know. Death Stranding is going to sweep every category it's in, like Red Dead last year. Why? Because it, it's because Kojima. Kojima. It's Kojima, and it's hosted by Jeff Keighley. Oh yeah, Jeff Keighley's <laughs> in the fucking game. Oh. Yeah, and he, he's big friends with Kojima. Forgot that it's Jeff Keighley. Yeah. Why doesn't he just make a new award for like Jeff Keighley presents the <laughs> Kojima Award or something? <laughs> Kojima wins every time. It's so stupid. Yep. There's so many better games. Um, I was actually going to say Smash because Smash is on the list. I'm pretty sure. How that came out last year. The cutout. It's it came out the after the cutout point of last year. Oh, it did. I didn't know. Yeah. That. I still think Death Stranding is going to beat it. I think there's. I only, feel like Death Stranding is too divisive. There's only like three but, games this year that came out that could even compete for it, which would be Death Stranding, maybe Sekiro, and then Smash, I guess. Like what else? Hey, so the, win. the top six nominees for Game of the Year are Resident Evil Two, Sekiro, oh, Outer Worlds, Smash Ultimate, Death Stranding, and Control. Control was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, no, none the of those Control games are bad, but. None of those games are bad, but Death Stranding, yeah. just by merit, is going to win. Just by being Death Stranding. Yeah, even though that it is probably the worst actual game there is. <laughs> it is pretty but, boring. Uh, I'm going to go Smash, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw my money behind Smash. I think, I think that's the best game on the list. Like, just pure game. And it's had the most positive reaction out of everyone, I think. Well, like, Sekiro, was, Sekiro was universally well loved as well, what and if, the RE2 how, remake. How pissed would you, the three of you, be if Pokemon won the new one? <laughs> it's not Thank on the list. God, it's oh, not on the list. I hate nice. that fucking game. <laughs> I really That's do. I've shame. gotten so sick of it. Ugh. Who did you choose as your starter? Andrew? Score money. Who, who okay. did you choose, Jackson? Soul. God damn it. Sobble game. So you have depression, huh? <laughs> Accurate <laughs> representation. What, what does that make you then? I, mean, I like having fun. I like bouncing around like a spastic <laughs> child. I don't know. <laughs> I like bunnies. Yeah, I guess that is pretty accurate. Yeah. Alrighty. Um. So we're in agreement for Death Stranding, I guess. Unfortunately. Unfortunately are we? Yeah. Are we streaming that? We could nail that out now. I think we should. Yeah, probably. We usually do. I would like yeah, to. Let's do it. All right, this is a question from Zuda Scooter Kid. He asks, Kaya, what's your favorite Turkish word slash phrase? I really, I'd be interested in knowing this one. Kaya went to go pee. Okay, I'll well, answer someone else can answer for him yeah. if you want. Yeah, it's probably diner kebab. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a Turkish meal. Oh, what? What did you get? Say right, kebab? Well, I'll say if he, if he says that... Uh, what happened? I was gonna say if you say like say if you s would say the same thing. The question was Kaya. Kaya, what's your favorite Turkish word slash phrase? Well, I had never thought about it, but yeah, kebab dinner. Oh, I scanned that. <laughs> fucking nailed it. Fucking They're pretty much all the same thing in different permutations, but yeah, the food is. I don't. I, I don't have any other favorite words than that in Turkish. It's good food. What do you want? <laughs> What's I your favorite you. Turkish uh, word, Jackson? <laughs> uh, Kaya. Oh, no. Jackson loves Damn rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember it means rock or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hi, I'm Paul asks, if you had to star in one major blockbuster franchise, which one would you choose? Marvel Ultimate star Cinematic star Universe. In? He, what was the question? Star in? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I mean, in, in I mean, what? Who doesn't want to be in a superhero movie? Yeah, Marvel I don't. But choice. if you mean for money and for career sake, then yeah. Yeah, I'd have if to. If that's the Marvel criteria, well. I don't think they're a good cinema. How how uh how like out there are we allowed to go with Star in? Because I would love to be the next villain of a Dragon Ball movie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that still a blockbuster franchise? Yeah, dude, it's still super popular and they still make big Hollywood or not Hollywood, big theatrical releases for the movies. You mean the cartoon, well, though? Aren't we talking live action? Yeah. No, no, no. The the cartoon, they still crank out movies for it and they sell no. out. 
No, I mean, isn't the question about us actually physically starring in live action? I thought that's what was that's, meant. Yeah, that's well, why I, I guess saying you how, could voice well, act. Yeah, I'd, I'd voice act it and oh, they'd base okay. the character off of me. They'd draw a, like an evil alien based on what I look like and I'd voice it hmm. and give it like a personality. I think that'd be fun. I'd like that a lot. Think about it. Like you could you could just walk around, go to fucking conventions and just do the voice and everyone would lose their shit. That sounds so fucking tiring. I don't think you'd want to do that. <laughs> Probably not. It could be funny. Be fun. I mean, keep in mind, no one's going to know that you did it ironically, quote unquote. So they're always just going to hate you for being in a shitty movie, being a shitty actor. Uh, well, what if it's a good movie? Yeah, good. Yeah, good life action Dragon Ball Z movie. Yeah, I'm sure you'll make it happen. <laughs> If anyone could. Oh, well, live action. <laughs> yeah. No, the live action would suck ass, yeah. <laughs> there. Well, hey, that'll that'll combine my two dreams. I'll direct the world's first good live action Dragon Ball movie, and I'll also star in it as the villain. There. That worked so well for Elizabeth <laughs> Banks and the new Charlie's Angels. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be good, because mm. I'm doing it. Trust me. I've got it. You're going to be the next Elizabeth it. Banks, though. That's going to suck. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. That's a good question. Oh, wait, Kai, I know question. what you and I could both do, because it's still what? going, and I think coming back, we could be in Mad Max. Oh, yeah, okay, I, I would want to be You guys in that. are going yeah. for good, good enjoyment, one. though. Because Mad Max most... is fucking awesome. What Marvel's do you mean enjoyment? Like, they'd have the biggest paycheck and everything. Yeah, tr Who again, yes, that? if that's the criteria, if it's solely how much I'm gonna get paid and if it is this lucrative for my future career then yes Marvel or Star Wars or some shit something that has no bottom <gasps> and where you, that you can always milk but if it's purely I Star actually Wars. like this movie and I would be proud of it Mad Max yeah that's a good one John yeah. Wick yeah John Wick's mm -hmm. another good one it'd also be so fun to be in Mad Max since it's almost all yeah. practical in the first place yep. no green screens oh I wouldn't have the balls to do any of those stunts no but well, you oh, know. you just be green screen. I, I just think it'd be I, a fun what the experience. Fuck, Charlie, to just I'm not literally... gonna jump off of exploding <laughs> trucks. I don't even know how they filmed those. <laughs> they, got, they got like Cirque du Soleil uh, athletes and shit to do that stuff. You think I could do it with my fat fucking dumb ass? I'm, go <laughs> I'm gonna land face <laughs> first you. in the desert, and then my foot is gonna get snagged on a cable or something. They're just gonna <laughs> grind me as they keep driving. <laughs> No, thank you. Dude, that would be that makes such that make a great shot in the movie. Yeah, though. really. That could be how your character <laughs> dies. Well, the, yeah, that's just all that your actual death into the movie. <laughs> Why would they even hire you then my... if you're not going to do the stunts? You're not going to do the work. I don't know. I if it's a like lot. a if they taught me how to do it, I, I don't know if, how to stunt, man. It's not something I learned or anything. But if they could make it semi-safe, then I guess. But I'm, I mean, some of the shit they show in that movie. No, I'm not touching that. I'm not going to cripple myself for the rest of my life. I always wonder, though, like when they have these breakdancing scenes and they're like these one off scenes, I don't know why they use stunt doubles instead of just have like the actual actor in the movie just be someone who can breakdance and save them money. Yeah, but then you have to find someone who's a good actor who can breakdance. Yeah. Like never been done before. <laughs> well, that's why, to, well, oh, that's why Tom Cruise is the best because he does his own. He learned how to fly a yeah. fucking helicopter for... For Mission Impossible. And not just flying yeah, helicopter, he, like doing Tom flips Cruise and is shit. The man. God, I love Tom Cruise. He he hung off an airplane taking off three times. The guy's <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that was He's cool. He's really good. Maybe there's something he, right about Scientology that we just don't know because he's he's pretty fucking cool. It gives him super strength. He, he's just putting himself into all of these dangerous situations so he's one step closer to meeting Zulu or whatever the guy's name is. Zenu. <laughs> Zenu. Zulu. Zenu. <laughs> Same shit. It would be cool if he, like, ascended. Turns out he was right. All the body thetans or whatever come out of the rest of us and just congregate inside him. Turn him into a Power Rangers Megazord. He's just a higher level Scientologist. Like all the people level like two, three, four, they're the ones still reading books and donating money. Tom Cruise is like level 30. So now he has yeah. to risk his life in order to ascend. <laughs> isn't it's he the technically only in the same, isn't he in the same tier as Miscavige, Michael Miscavige or whatever their leader's name is? I, I think he ascended to a pretty high tier at this point. Hmm. I think they that only have like right. 10 tiers. Yeah, he's yeah. been in it for so long. I imagine he's probably climbed the ranks. And it's Plus Tom, he's Tom fucking, fucking Cruise. Cruise. 
damn it, yeah. I, I know that Miscavige was at his wedding as the best man or something, so they're pretty tight. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Maybe it's all a con for like a Mission Impossible movie to infiltrate and destroy a real like religion or something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is what brings down Christianity. <laughs> All right. It's not child molesters, it's fucking Tom Cruise <laughs> that brings <laughs> that down. Alrighty, um, the Irish Bison asks, if you could be any type of dinosaur, what would it be and why? I wanted to throw that one in. Oh uh, no, a that's your back. question. Don't that's lie. That's so dumb. Yeah, yeah the Jackson. Irish dinosaur, uh-huh, sure. So, <laughs> anyone? That's your alt account, that's you. You can't fool me. Well, mine's Brachiosaurus, if you guys want to throw yours <laughs> I love how you don't even deny it. <laughs> <laughs> Just go straight to the question. I don't know. Well, sorry Ooh. the Irish Bison, I tried. I hope this doesn't I'm make a, you I, quit watching our show. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They're all kind of cool, I Do guess. You, I can name <gasps> like three dinosaurs. That's yeah, it. name them. Uh, Tyrannosaurus. No, wait, I can name the Power Rangers ones. There's Tyrannosaurus, Mastodon, Triceratops, uh, Pterodactyl. Oh, fuck, what's the... What's the last one? Stegosaurus. No, Sabertooth Tiger. That's the one. That's, that's not a dinosaur. dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, but that's for Power Rangers. <laughs> House cat. And then, and then they name it. The fucking Doc. guitar solo. Is guitar solo a dinosaur, Jackson? It can be for you, Andrew. Yeah, hey, what about the Megazord? Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> I want to be an extreme dinosaur, the humanoids with the tech. <laughs> uh, let's, right, just, be a, let's go to the next one, raptor. Jackson. Yeah. yeah, Bread the Arse asks, are there any updates on the working of hashtag hard turbo on Netflix? <laughs> no, it's hard to at the moment. We nope. don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> like what's been worked on at all. Well, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with it. We never heard back. I assume they. Well, just... that means they're doing nothing with it. What are you guys doing with it? Well, nothing. <laughs> Billy, <yeah. laughs> wow, that just faded entirely. That, that's, the, that's the development cycle it's... of hard turbo. <laughs> It's almost month, like an entirely hinged on Netflix buying it and then them running off with yeah. the money. Yeah. Out of the blue. Uh, we're, we're... Yeah. In talks. We're still in yeah, talks. Yeah, you, you can't talk about it for legal reasons, I imagine. Right. Yes. Right. right. B big things in the works with yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can't really spoil the first four seasons, which are in production, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Well, I've got one last question here, and it kind of... Uh, it's directed at me. Shadow Conspiracy asks, what is Jackson's thoughts on The Mandalorian? But since no one cares about that, I'll open it up more. What, how, how do you guys... Uh, are any of you enjoying Disney Plus? How's Disney Plus for you guys? Nope. Nah. No? I haven't no. used it yet. I I'm not buying nope. it. Go fuck yourself. It's, I'm not about to subscribe to 10 different streaming services and gaming networks and this and that. Just figure it out. Disney, Netflix, HBO, Amazon, get all get together and make a package or something. I'm not about to do that. Fuck off. That's your problem you have to solve. Well, The Mandalorian was good, Shadow Conspiracy. It's uh, probably the best Star Wars thing that's happened recently, apart from the game that just came out. So yeah, Disney Plus <laughs> is pretty good in my opinion. Is that where Baby, Baby Yoda's from? Who? Oh, yeah, 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 Baby Yoda. Okay, because that Cutest gets passed around in the universe. fucking everywhere. It's so cute, Andrew. Oh. I've actually heard it's a great show. It is. It's Same. it's a different take, which I like. I it's think good. they say that about every Star Wars movie ever. <laughs> yeah, but now <laughs> I'm saying it. Yeah, and you say that about every Star Wars movie ever made. Yeah, but this time it's, it's true. Mm. This time it's personal. <laughs> this time is right now, and that's all that matters. Uh, so yeah, that was all the questions. Why did we stop doing questions? That was fun. No, well, when you chose like the most depressing ones for the first half, yeah, that really. contributed. No, well, we well, stopped because we used to do the merry week, and then it would just get repetitive. This is the first time yeah. in like what two years? This, yeah, yeah. Uh, this aren't there fun. anymore? Yeah, 
There's also a uh, lot of meme questions, and it's like they're funny, but how do we answer that? I'll probably skip some. Uh, Jesus, Soxum there's like 150. Asks, yeah, but a lot of them are meme ones. Uh, Soxum yeah. asks, what's your favorite moment on this podcast from the f- past three years? Do you guys have any specific moments that kind of stick out to you? Mm. No, I don't have that good of a memory. Come on, the someone's got to have something. Kind of sp- yeah, the Notch one was very special. I don't think any of us had ever talked to a billionaire before. Yeah, special, but... Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I There's guess. been a few moments like that where we've kind of spoken to the upper echelon of humanity in some form or the other, whether it be David Cross or PewDiePie <laughs> or Upper echelon, again, what? It, it, I he was in like movies, Google God trends damn it. showing you how he's less popular than palm trees, and you're still calling him the upper echelon <laughs> of what exactly? Uh, he was in a <laughs> the last once. time I even remember him being in the news is one of, is when one of the old actresses from House accused him of being racist against Asians. That's the last time I even remember his name seeing him anywhere. Needless to say, he's a superstar, and we talked to him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you were excited for that at the time as well, Charlie. I yeah, I certainly was. I loved Men in Black. Oh, I was extremely excited. Was he in that? I, I, I'm a fan of yeah, David Cross. <laughs> was he in that? I was, I was extremely excited for the episode. I like a lot of what David Cross has done. I was it's just, it's sad. it was sad. It was very <laughs> sad. Very disappointing. Mm. I think he's been the I, I good love, stuff. I love what he's done as well, especially walking his dog. That was great. Um, <laughs> yeah, great pet <laughs> owner. Hey, we, on the upside, we are now part of his IMDb credits. Are we really? Oh, Either God. that or his Wikipedia page, one of the two. So hey, That's be wild. proud, boys. We're now in we're now in Hollywood. Uh Sam uh, winched in between men in black cameos and busking on the side street, I imagine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what David's doing these days. Looking for more podcasts to crash into. <laughs> There's a lot uh, of questions well, yeah. here that aren't depressing. Yeah, give us one last like uplifting question. Kyle? Oh, you were asking me? Sorry, I thought you meant, like, Jackson, since he was flexing about how many he has. Uh, well, there isn't any no, specifically uplifting one. Oh, okay, Jackson, go. Yeah, go. I meant Jackson no, 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 from no, no, the no. list. No, no, you, uh, Kaya, give us an uplifting one, because I <laughs> apparently only chose depressing ones. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, there's not, like, the cocksuckingly uplifting ones that just praise us, if that's what you mean, but just very normal, who's your favorite comedian, your favorite episode, and that sort of stuff. Mm, uh, yeah, but I felt like those ones have you totaled had... somebody? Hmm? No, no, you go. No, someone is asking how many episodes we've scrapped in total. I think it's three, including the the one bad guest, the one at the very beginning that was like episode seven, and then most recently we scrapped one, are the ones I remember. Yeah, we... The- we that was a bonus, bonus. Though, wasn't it? Yeah, because yeah. it was so bad. Yeah. So yeah, three, three total. That's Which is a pretty, bad. yeah, that's a pretty good track record for 156 that's, with yeah, a failure one rate of three. It's good enough. Yeah, actually, it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, that's no, because we were including bonuses in that as well. We had four, we have forty something bonuses as well on Patreon.com/slash the official podcast. So that's true. That's even more. It's a higher success rating. I've still got, uh, I've still got the um the bo- the the episode that we scrapped at the very start, the episode seven or whatever, and I ha- and I've got it like unlisted on my on my uh, channel, so that if anyone wants it, you're more than welcome to listen to that hour of boredom. Just oh reach man! Out. Uh, you're just well, gonna get inundated with be... yeah, yeah. That's... You're just going to get a, a whole bunch of messages trail. now. You're going to have to copy and paste a link to every one of them. Make it something special, at least. Did you say that was episode, what, seven? Six? What was it? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. There was something put around that. Put it on our I Patreon. Think it might even... all, right, well, all right. I'll put it on Patreon. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Why is Jackson so gosh darn cute? How much longer do you Aww. think this will last? Duh, duh, duh. Is Hopefully not Prague? much longer because it's three thirty a.m. Yeah, okay, we can end it, Jackson. I'm sorry, our three year anniversary just kept you up so long. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Keep going. 
Uh, what were you guys' first initial impressions of one another? <sighs> oh, I see. Okay, I see. Uh, I didn't have one. Didn't we answer this a while back? Probably, think, yeah. yeah. It sounds like something so. that we would have been asked pretty early. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I meant when I was going through these. There was obviously a lot of questions that we've already... Like, I could distinctly remember that we had already talked about in the past. So I kind of avoided those ones. Here's one. Which guest were you most surprised agreed to do the podcast? Probably John McAfee, honestly. Mm. No. McAfee. Or McAfee. McAfee. Uh, no, he was asking John. to be on podcast on his Twitter, so that wasn't surprising that he would say yes to come on. Notch. Yeah, Notch is a good yeah. one. Hmm. Yeah, Notch is definitely a good one. He went out and bought a microphone, XLR, yeah. switchboard, and everything just yeah, to be on. Yeah, and that was what, like, probably 1% of his daily spending budget? <laughs> Still, I mean, the, just yeah. the daddy would bother going to Amazon.com. Yeah. That's, that's true. That's but most true. fuckers, they can't even bother to get in front of a computer. Yeah, um, Notch yeah. is a good answer. KB was another good K one, actually. That's, yeah. Noah Monk was another one, yeah. I was surprised. Oh, you yeah. Great oh, too. you guys he are forgetting. Nice. We we were able to book somehow in his busy schedule, famous actor James Allen McCune. <sighs> I mm. love James. I don't He's know so how good. we did it. How we fucking pulled it off, I don't know. We gotta get Twice him back even. on again. Two times. Oh, yeah, Tom Papa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, it was, it was a uh, too. Logan Marshall Green was another good one. We've oh, had yeah. a few actual actors man. on, I guess, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, he's Tom been Papa in... was so sweet. Yeah, he oh, really he was. Fucking super, Logan, super duper been in sweet. Movies, both of them. His dough may be sour, but he's sweet. Uh, K Basically, says, anyone, anyone who's not a YouTuber was a surprise to come on, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Surprisingly <laughs> nice, too. Uh, K-Rom is asking, did anything get easier or harder after three years of recording? Mm. Recording? Mm. I think, what, I think the harder? first, like, e way easier. I think the first, like, 20 episodes, we're still figuring out how to do a podcast and how to stay entertaining yeah. for an hour. And then at once we kind of figured out the, the flow, things got way better. We stopped talking over each other as much and made things more entertaining. Yeah. I don't know about easier or harder, really. Dealing with the attention, I'd say, has got a little easier. It's, you know, when you have a lot of people telling you either you're great or you're an asshole. It kind of get, <laughs> can get to you at the very beginning, but it tapers off, so that does get easier. All right, Jackson, take us out. Yeah. Uh, before we go, thank you to everyone for, if especially if you've been watching from the start. That's really, really sweet of you guys. Uh, it's nice. It's nice that we've still got people watching. Um, it's been a fun three years. Hopefully we continue on, but who knows if there'll be an episode next week. We'll see. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, just thank you. Uh, thank you to tweet. my co-hosts, obviously. Uh, no, 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 not thank you. Uh, tweet hashtag justice for peppers. I mean, you guys broke tradition. I think the community should hold you responsible. Let them know. Read. Let them know, listeners. Let them know. Hashtag justice for peppers. Let's well, hang on a minute. Let's 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 reissue the challenge then. If you really want to show us how much you want peppers, put your uh, hashtag justice for peppers on a video of you eating a hot pepper. <laughs> let's see. see, let's, see how much, be, let's see how many people actually man up to it. I'm then curious. You're gonna be really gonna be an asshole if you don't do it, uh, Andrew. <laughs> if you make people go through that and then you still bitch hey, out. Man, even even with that, I've already done it twice. I want to see what they do. Okay. Let's let's hear it's three years. Let's make this episode about the fans rather than us eating hot peppers. Let's have them eat hot peppers yeah, and send it in. Yeah, let them hurt themselves. <laughs> yeah, send in videos it and we'll add well, it to a montage next week. Yeah, yeah put that on go. screen. That's a, good, okay. that's a good idea. Do that. But then you have to still do it too. I'm not going to let you just throw the, the fans under the bus here. Don't think well, you're being clever. Like, hey, Kaya, what if they did sorry, it? Yeah, yeah, see you oh, next week. Yeah, the episode's got to wrap Thanks up. Thanks for I'm the sorry. three years. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you like the questions, let us know. We might do more of it. Who knows? Uh, if yep, you like thanks. the webcam as well, let us know if we should continue with the webcam. Just let us Justice know on everything. Peppers. Just tell us stuff. Fuck, we want to hear from you. Are you guys going to yeah. wave to the camera? I was going to wave by. I can wait. Uh, yeah, okay. I can do that. That'd be cute. Uh, 
All right. See you, everyone. Patreon.com slash the official podcast. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.